Hey, Shalom. Before I get started, I want to say, call Halayim La Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Recha Kodash, which means our praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, which is our Lord and Savior, and to the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great minstone who teach and who wear, and peace and love to the elect of the nation of Israel, and come back again. Do the spirit power of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Recha Kodash, on the border Aina from Jermaine Smith's account. And pretty much, we're going back into the sum of the day, which being Psalms 136 and 25, who give it food to all flesh for his mercy and do it forever. And I'll be watching out this lesson, be edifying straight to the point. So it said, Well, he give it food to all flesh. And all flesh, pretty much what? The animals, the birds. Which come to mind was about through six and on uh, twenty five and on uh, twenty six, you know. Let's read it said, Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what you should eat or what you should drink, nor yet for your body. What you should put on is not the life more than meat in the body than ram it. So, you know, it said, Behold, the fowls of the air, for they sow not. Neither do they reap, no gather uh, into bonds, yet your heavenly Father feed them, right? The heavenly Father feed them. You don't see birds working a nine to five, you see? But guess what? The most I still feed them. Then they say, are you that much better than they? Exactly, man. So going back to the summer day, who give it food to all flesh for your mercy and do it forever, right? Our power is most of it, man. But the point is where he give food to all flesh. How much more of us, the ones that actually serve and call upon his true name? What is it saying? Verse, let me read 33. It said, But seek you first the kingdom of the Most High and his righteousness, and all these things should be added unto you. Right? Seek Yahweh's Mount righteousness. Then all the things should be added unto you, man. You know, let's um. Read this in the NLT, Psalms 136 and 25. Let's see what it say. Let's start at 23. 22. Even in heritage unto Israel his servant, for he must endure forever, right? You know, the Lord people, all the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native Americans. And wherever Israel been scattered to due to the curses that make look like the other nations, but whose spirit goes back to an Israelite. His heritage is Israel, who remember us in our lower state. And right now we're in our lower state. We still in captivity. We yet today in our captivity, man. For his mercy endure forever, right? It said, and he shall like in have redeem us, right? And have redeem us from our enemies, his for his mercy endure forever, right? Who give it food to all flesh, for his mercy endure forever, or give thanks unto the power of heaven, right? Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, for his mercy endure it forever, right? Give thanks to him. And O T, Psalms 136 and 25, he gives food to every living thing, his faithful love endures forever. Exactly, man. You know what? Let me get uh, the Psalms 147. To every living thing upon earth, you know, they eat. Psalms 147 and 9, he gave it to the beast his food and to the young ravens which cry. Exactly, man. You see, he feed wild animals, feed birds. How much more of us? Could we come into a time like no other, you know, famine? But the Lord said, what? My servant shall eat. Let me get Isaiah 1442. Um, man, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Boy, it's a lot, guy, again. Isaiah 65 and 13. It said, Therefore, thus said the Lord, Yahweh, 
Behold, my servant should eat, but you should be hungry. Behold, my servant should drink, but you should be thirsty. Behold, my servant should rejoice, but you should be ashamed. So you ain't serving the Lord, hey, you going to be ashamed. You're going to be thirsty. You'll be hungry. But the ones that are serving the Lord, hey, we're going to be taken care of, man. It said, Behold, my servant shall sing for your heart, but you should cry for sour of heart and should have for vexation of spirit. And that's the point. The Lord going to take care of his um, man, you know. Let's get one more. Second Ezra's 2. And, um, so, this is, uh, 26, second age, 2 and 26. It's for the servants whom I, whom I had given thee, there should not one of them perish. For I will require them from among thy number, be not weary. For when a day of trouble in heaven is coming, and that's what's coming, the day of trouble, you know, a time like no other, the day of trouble is coming. Heaven is coming. Others shall weep and be sorrowful. But thou should be merry and have abundance while others go weep and be sorrowful. Like I said in Luke, the sixth chapter, want you that laugh now, you should cry later, right? So others go weep and be sorrowful, but thou should be merry and have abundance. The heathen should envy thee, but they should be able to do nothing against thee, said the Lord. My hands should cover thee, so that thy children should not see hell. Pretty much the grace so the most high is going to take care of us. His servants should eat, and he's going to take care of our household, man. If we continue to suffer and be faithful unto death. You see, um, so that's pretty much the point. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect. She's so going in on a some of the day who give a food to all flesh, right to every living um, creature upon the earth. You see, but we come to a time like no other. You have not been serving him. Hey, <laughs> you're going to starve, you know? But he said, well, his mercy endure forever, man. You see? So once again, give our praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Recha Kodash, the bonus to the apostles and others of great wisdom who teach and wear peace and love to the elect.